If you would normally earn $100 and you are using 5x leverage, you will earn $500. But if you would normally lose 20% with a 5x leverage, you will lose 100%. That is margin trading in a nutshell. You can make money faster, but you can also lose money faster. In this video, you will learn how to margin trade on Coin X step by step how to find the interest rates on coin x and how to take your profit and much much more but first to trade on coin x using any method you need to create the 100% free account and i will leave your link in the description right here below the video where you can get the best welcome bonus to coin x after clicking the link below the video you will land on coin x registration page where you will see a 100 usdt newcomer offer and you will create your free account using your email address or Google account. Both sign up methods are 100% free. For example, if you want to sign up using your email address, you type it right here, you create the strong password, and then you click here sign up and you will be inside CoinX for free. Once you are inside, I recommend that you go here into Newcomers Exclusive and start redeeming your welcome bonuses, as I show in my previous videos on my playlist Earn Money on CoinX. And here in the exchange section, you will find spot trading and margin trading. With spot trading, you are trading with your own money. For example, if you have $100, you can trade with that $100. But here with margin trading, you can trade with your own money and also the borrowed money. That's why it says multiply profits with loans. For example, if you have $100 available and you can trade with 10x leverage, it means that you can trade with up to $1,000 even with just $100. And notice that you are not forced to use the whole 10x leverage. For example, if you have $100 available, you can trade with $200, $300 or $500. You have the freedom to choose. And here is the money making process with margin trading in a nutshell. Step number one, you transfer assets to your CoinX margin account. I will show that to you in a moment. Second step is to borrow. Third step is to trade. Fourth step is to repay and withdraw the profits. And now when you come into your CoinX account here into assets section, you notice that there are multiple different accounts. There is a spot account, margin, futures, loan, financial and also other accounts. In order to trade margin, you need to transfer money to your margin account. And notice right here, they are using isolated margin account to make it easier and more simple. Meaning that if you want to trade, for example, BTC USDT, you need to transfer money into that specific account. If you want to trade, for example, ADA and USDT, you need to transfer money into that account. Let me just give you an example. I will click here transfer. Then I will transfer some BTC into my margin account. I click here confirm. It says transferred successfully and you can see it's now available right there. When I go into the trading, you notice here that I have available 0.005 BTC. And here you can also transfer money. Let me click this one right here. Spot to margin. I click here all. I click here confirm and you can see transferred successfully. You notice here that I have now available a little bit over 0.01 BTC. And now I will show the magic of margin trading. I choose here the market order. And if I start scrolling this one, it says the amount 0.01 BTC, right? It's the same that I have available. But if I click this one button right here, auto loan, let me show what happens. It opens a pop-up that says, after auto loan is activated, the system will automatically detect whether crypto borrowing is needed when placing an order. If needed, the system will automatically borrow assets for you and complete the transaction. When you click here confirm, you will notice what happens. Now I can scroll this all the way right here and the maximum is now more than 0.1 BTC. So I have now this 10x leverage available, which means that I can borrow more than 0.09 BTC 
even though I had here roughly 0.01 BTC. You can see here on my margin account that I have only roughly $600 worth of Bitcoin here, but it says maximum available is almost $5,500 because I'm able to borrow a lot of money. Of course, I don't recommend that you borrow the maximum amount because then the risks would be ultra high, but this simply illustrates to you how the system works. I noticed something interesting here. If I change, for example, to CET USDT trading pair, now I have available 0 USDT, 0 CET. The reason is what I explained earlier, that they are using isolated margin accounts, meaning that if I want to trade other trading pairs, I need to transfer money there specifically, and that makes it easier. And now if you want to execute the margin train, let me show you how it works. You remember that I have only 0.01 BTC available. So if I put here amount, for example, 0.02 BTC, it shows the amount we would be borrowing. And here I would sell BTC, but personally, I would much rather buy BTC because the price of BTC generally goes higher. So you can put here the amount and notice here, if I buy with USDT, I will be borrowing that USDT because I have zero USDT. USDT available. So let me click here buy BTC. You can see submitted successfully. Now if I come here into my margin wallet, you notice here that I have now 100 USDT loan and it also opens the liquidation price because I took so small loan the liquidation price would be 8400 so Bitcoin price would need to drop below 10,000 below 9,000 so this would get liquidated meaning that it would force sell my BTC to pay back the loan in the other words the risk is very small with so small loan but notice that if you are borrowing money and you are doing this margin trading, you obviously need to pay an interest for that loan. So where can you find the interest rate on CoinEx? It's pretty simple. You can simply click here support. Then you can type here margin interest. You can click here what is margin borrowing interest rate. And then you can click here fees standard. And then it opens for you this view where it shows the daily interest rate depending on your VIP level. If you are a regular user with VIP zero, then you can see your interest rate here. It shows the daily interest rate. And if you want to get the yearly interest rate, you put this roughly times 365, which means that at the moment when I'm recording this video, the yearly interest rate for USDT and BTC is roughly 36.5%, which is really high in my personal opinion. And that's why I would much rather wait if I want to borrow later, if their interest rate goes lower. However, there is another way how you can take loans here and usually there the interest rate is even lower. You can find it here on the finance and loans section. Borrow and repay crypto loans and any time. Let me click it. You can see here on the crypto loan section instant arrival borrow and repay at any time and at the moment when i'm recording this video daily interest rate is 0.05 percent so it's much smaller than the borrowing daily interest rate here on the margin and that's why if i would take loan at the moment i would do it definitely here on the crypto loans rather than on the margin section because here i can get a better rate if the daily interest is 0 0.05 the yearly interest is roughly 18%, which is still relatively high, but I believe you could make profits with that because you know this here, that the price of BTC, Bitcoin generally goes higher much faster than 18% per year. And of course, by the time you are watching this video, the crypto loans and also the margin interest rates are most likely different. So I recommend that you check here regularly because these change depending on the market supply and demand. If you want to use these crypto loans, you simply click this borrow button right here. Then you choose what currency you want to use as collateral and you choose how much money 
you want to receive. I can click here all and then it says maximum borrow. So how much money I can get with this collateral? I think the 50 USDT is the minimum and here it shows your estimated LTV. For example, if I would take 300 USDT, estimated LTV would be 64 and a half. So I think this might make sense. Or if you want to keep the risk levels lower, you can take a smaller amount and keep the LTV close to 50%. When you want to get the loan, you can simply click here confirm. Then you can tap the box right here, click confirm and you can see borrowed successfully. Now you have more USDT available. When you come to your spot account, the USDT is immediately right there and you can do whatever you want with it. And I will show in a moment how you can use it to repay the margin loans because here you notice that I took that small loan and I will much rather use this crypto loan option and I will use that to pay back the margin loan. Now you might be wondering what is the difference between margin trading and futures trading because here on the futures you can also multiply your profits with leverage. If we scroll down you can see that I have here one trade open with some profits it's roughly $48 worth of profits with one trade and here I have been using 5x leverage. There are a couple of differences. The first difference is that the leverage can be much higher on derivatives, also known as futures, all the way up to 100x, which is pretty crazy. I rather keep it at 5x or something like that. Second, I think that margin trading may be easier to manage for people who don't have a lot of experience because you clearly see the liquidation price, you see how much you are borrowing, how much you need to repay and all these other things. And the third difference is that with margin trading, you pay the interest rate daily. Meanwhile, with futures trading, you pay the funding rate or you receive it. You can see it right here. Usually every eight hours, you will either pay the funding rate or you receive. Typically, the funding rate is positive. And in that case, people who are long, like myself, we pay it. And people who are short, they receive that money every eight hours. So those are the differences in a nutshell between futures trading and margin trading. And now let me show how to repay the loan. First step is to transfer some USDT into my margin account. So I choose here USDT. Then I transfer, for example, 101 USDT. I click here confirm. It says transferred successfully. And here I can click repay. Then it shows amount to be repaid. I click here all. I click here confirm. And you can see success. Now there is zero to be repaid. I have fully paid back my margin loan. I recommend that you keep an eye on the CoinEx crypto loan rate and also the margin borrowing daily interest rate. And if they become cheap, then you can use that leverage to get more Bitcoin and make even bigger profits. And now, do you want to learn even other ways of making money on CoinEx? For example, here in the strategic trading with their automated trading bots. Or do you want to make money automatically here on the financial section? Earn compound interest with idle assets, receive money while you are sleeping and also other methods. If you want, come immediately into my playlist, Earn Money on CoinX. And here I will show you how to use the CoinX trading bot in my easy crypto trading tutorial. Simply take one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner, and you will learn to earn money on CoinX.